Hey guys, um, welcome back to another DIY wedding decor video. So today, as you can see, um, we're in a different space. Yeah, um, we needed a bigger space this time because we are gonna be doing something a bit more complicated. So today we are making mason jar centerpieces. Um, so again, I'm gonna prepare two options. So one of them is a bit more complicated and requires more work. And then the other one is super simple and you can do it using, you know, not much time or um, supplies. So first, we're gonna make one that has, oh, here we go. Here we've got our mason jars. Yay! Some heart stickers. So these are from the Cricut, but obviously you can just cut them out with tape. Uh, pretty easy. You can also make them different sizes. All of mine are one size. So, um, ah, before I forget to mention this, um, I read online that it is a good idea to wipe your mason jars down with some rubbing alcohol just to get rid of all the dirty stuff. Maybe, you know, the oil from my hands, probably, all over this jar, <laughs> will not help the acrylic paint to stick better. Um, Today, I'm just not gonna use it. Um, I don't have, uh, I don't think I have any here, um, but if you guys uh, wanna try it, um, it might, you know, get a better result, so you can try it. Um, but obviously, let's just pretend I wiped it with rubbing alcohol. And then we're gonna stick on the heart. So I'm just gonna stick it in random places. Um, got our jar here um, filled with heart stickers um, and next we are gonna use some paint so I'm gonna use acrylic paint um, I think you can also use spray paint um, so we're gonna use acrylic paint uh, I've got this color here it's called wild eggplant it is a purple um, I think that's kind of a wedding color so that's why I chose it and also I think it's really great I really like purple so I have my paintbrush here Squeeze some out. Squeeze some out. Maybe I shouldn't have wet my brush. Okay, this is this is already not going. idea what I'm doing. Alright, so while we're waiting for the paint to dry, it only makes sense to start on our second option, um, which is extremely simple, um, but we do need a photograph. Um, I don't have a picture or photograph. So, I'm gonna draw one. <laughs> Gotta take the lid off. And then, let's see, put this in. Does it fit? Oh my gosh, yes it does! <laughs> and then we've got our little lights. So, these lights, let's see, let's turn them on. Ooh, and that's nice. <laughs> Really 
So you might actually have to measure the mason jars um, and your photograph to see if it's a good fit. Alright, so we are back and let's continue with our painting. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to assume that it's dry. I actually have no idea. This is so cold and dry. What is that? Um, okay, so this is not working well. So we're going to start off with a clean jar. I'm going to go wipe this off. Okay. try this again. Okay. Let's just pretend that that's okay. Um, we'll leave it to dry again. Fingers crossed that it dries and then I can put on another layer. Yeah, I'll see you when the paint, or after the paint dries. Hey guys, we are back. So this is our final product. I've got to admit, it does not look the best. Early the next morning. Hey guys, we are back today. As you can see, I'm in different clothes. Um, and that is because yesterday's failed attempt uh, made me quite frustrated. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give up. We're gonna do this again. So um, I took the jar that we did yesterday and I repainted it um, today and it turned out so much better. Um, so definitely wait for the paint to dry. Patience is key. Um, I'm so satisfied with these two final products. Um, super happy, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, whether you know you learn from my mistakes or gave you inspiration to make your own, or you just got a good laugh out of it, it's all good. Um, so if you guys do make them, uh, please tag us on Facebook and Instagram at Aurora Public Library. We would love to see what you guys make. You guys make the best things. Um, okay, so I'll catch you next time for another DIY wedding tour video. Okay, bye.